The Lord speaks of peace to his people and to his holy ones and to whom returns to him. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. And we offer and pray on this Holy Mass, for the eternal rest of Milagros J. Mahinai. Let us pray. <clears throat> Stir up the will of your faithful, we pray, O Lord, that striving more eagerly to bring your divine work to fruitful completion, they may receive in greater measure the healing remedies your kindness bestowed through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, saw an angel come down from heaven, holding in his hand the key of the abyss and a heavy chain. He sees the dragon, the ancient serpent, which is the devil or Satan, and tied it up for a thousand years and threw it into the abyss. When he walked over it and sealed so that it could no longer lead the nations astray until the thousand years were completed. After this, it is to be released for a short time. Then I saw thrones those who sat on them were entrusted with judgment. I also saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for their witness to Jesus and for the word of God and who had not worshipped the beast or its image nor had accepted its mark on their foreheads or hands nor had accepted its mark. Oh, They came to life and they reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Next, I saw a large white throne, and the one who was sitting on it. The earth and the sky fled from its presence, and there was no place for them. I saw the dead, the great and the lonely, standing before the throne, and the scrolls were opened. Then another scroll was opened, the book of life. The dead were judged according to their deeds by what was written in the scrolls. The sea gave up its dead. Then death and Hades gave up their dead. All the dead were judged according to their deeds. Then death and Hades were thrown into the pool of fire. This pool of fire is the second death. Anyone whose name was not found written in the book of life was thrown into the pool of fire. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. The former heaven and the former earth had passed away, and the sea was no more. I also saw the holy city, a new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. The Word of the Lord.
responsorial psalm, Here God lives among his people. My soul yearns and pines for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Here God lives among his people. Even a sparrow finds a home and a shallow a nest in which she puts her young. Your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Here God lives among his people. Blessed they who dwell in your house. Continually they praise you. Blessed the men whose strength you are. They go from strength to strength. Alleluia, alleluia. Stand erect and raise your heads because your redemption is at hand. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples a parable. Consider the fig tree and all the other trees. But when their buds burst up, burst open, you see for yourselves and know that summer is near to you. In the same way, when you see these things happening, know that the kingdom of God is near. Amen, I say to you, the generation will not pass away until all things have taken place. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will not pass away. The Gospel of the Lord. Thank you. Today, our Lord Jesus Christ invites us to see how the fig tree buds sprout. A symbol of the church that periodically is renewing itself thanks to that inner power that our Lord God instills in it. Look at the fig tree and all the trees. As soon as, as their buds sprout, you know that summer is near. The eschatological discourse we are reading these days needs prophetic style deliberately warns the chronology by placing at the same level things that must happen in different moments. In the fact that in the portion of the fragment chosen in today's liturgy, we have very limited range allows us to think that perhaps we should assume where is there in? As you may say, or people may say to you, we are living in a different and difficult times. But if we really pay attention, every day is difficult to live as a Christian person. It's not easy to behave always as a good Christian person, to give a good example, not only in this time, but at all times. Yeah, we see those trees today, very different colors, very beautiful. And then in a few days, we see like dying. And it's like, is this the end of the world? <laughs> Have, some people have come to me and say, you see the signs, do you read the signs? The Bible says, you know, that these pandemics will come. 
that these earthquakes will come and that's the end of the world. Well, I've been hearing this since 2000 at least. <laughs> when they say the world is near, the world, the, the, den, the end of the world is near. I said, well, I don't know if it's near or not. But I worry about to be prepared. That's why you should worry. Not, oh, it's this pandemic. Yeah, we, we should worry. But I worry more about how is my soul at this time. Okay, if it's the end of the world, I hope that God finds me ready in grace, in peace with one another, with myself. These are the times that we have to read. At times we may feel we do nothing worthwhile or even feel like we are going like backwards. Sometimes people come and talk to me and say, Oh, Father, it's so difficult. Instead of like going move, moving forward, I see myself like going backwards because I keep falling and falling into the same things. Now you say, well, try harder. Try harder, pray. But sometimes people just pray, oh, Lord, help me. And they do nothing. <laughs> they don't do their part to stay away from, keep falling into that thing. If you know that some people, some friends, are not good for you, why you go and visit them? If you know that some place is not good for you, why do you go to that place? You are asking God to help you, but you're not doing anything on your part. Read the times, read the signs. Be prepared. So today, let us ask our Blessed Mother to intercede for all our needs and all the needs around the world and to keep praying for one another but in these difficult times, we should worry not about only ourselves, but worry for those out there in most need. Watchful for the flowering of God's rain, we pray that buds of faith may burst from among God's people. We pray to the Lord that the trees of the forest may root humanity in creation's goodness. We pray to the Lord that the fruits of the earth may nourish and sustain the hungry. We pray to the Lord. That the words of wisdom may guide both young and, uh, and all, we pray to the Lord. That God's kingdom may come near in this, to the sick and the sorrowful, we pray to the Lord. That God's eternal spirit may restore the dead, we pray to the Lord. And for the soul and eternal rest of Milagro J. Mahanai, whom we are praying and offering this Holy Mass, we pray to the Lord. And in the silence of our hearts, we place our own petition. We pray to the Lord. On failing God, the budding trees proclaim your faithfulness and the heralds of an ending summer of your grace. Teach us to be attentive to the to creations of wisdom that we may discover the word that will never pass away. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, for to the earth and work of humankind, who will come for us, the bread of life. Bless you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. With the divine work of human hands, we become our spiritual dream. Let's be done. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <laughs> Accept, O Lord, the sacred offerings which at your, of your biting we dedicate to your name, and in order that through these gifts we may become worthy of your love, Grant us unfailing obedience to your commands, through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created men, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels pray your majesty. Dominions, adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the riches of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in a humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of us. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore the these gifts we prayed, by sending down your spirit upon them at the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord. Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your expression. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, 
and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Oscar, and Patrick, our bishops, and other clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have that in your mercy. Welcome them into the regular face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Lucy, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, and deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us ask our Blessed Mother to intercede for all our needs and all the needs around the world. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that those to whom you give the joy of participating in divine mysteries may never be apart from you, through Christ our Lord. And the Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended.